Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you my top five favorite things. I think these make amazing Christmas gifts and they make your life so much easier. First is my Alexa. I started with a dot and you can pick these up for around $30 and they're pretty much the most amazing thing ever. You can sync them to your Google Calendar so you can say things like, Alexa, add a doctor's appointment next Thursday at two to my calendar and she will do that. She will add to your shopping cart, do alarms, play. Do we, do we? <laughs> She's good. Just never mind, Alexa. You're good. You're, you're good, babe. Stop it. You're good. <laughs> Let's see. What can we ask it? Alexa, tell me a Christmas story. All right. Here's one brought to you by Audible. Yes, Virginia. There is a Santa Claus by Francis Parcellus Church. How freaking cool is that? Eight year old Virginia. Okay, Hattie. Alexa, stop. Next, let's talk about my Instapot. I'm so in love with an Instapot. You basically can't wreck dinner. You can throw in, you can forget to take out a, a roast, take it out frozen, and 45 minutes later, you have a perfect pot roast. You cannot screw this thing up, which makes it perfect for lazy moms like me. I'm so in love with my Instapot and you can find them for under $100, especially this time of year. Trust me, it's money well spent. For those of you who don't know, an Instapot is a pressure cooker, but it's not like the old school pressure cooker that like blasts your face off with steam. It's like a safe pressure cooker, but it's not like a slow cooker because it's like intense heat or some, I'm not sure the science, it's just, just, just buy one. Next, I can't not mention my Roomba. You guys know how much I love this robot vacuum. I mean, legit, who doesn't want a vacuum that vacuums for you? You don't have to lift a finger, and the new one that I have actually empties itself, so it's, it's just enabling me to be even more lazy. Now I don't even have to empty the bin. I love my Roomba so much. I keep their carcasses, like when they die. My first one I got 12 years ago, I still have it. I'm holding on to it. It's just, they're, they're like my preciouses, even the dead ones. Just, I don't know. It's, it's expensive. I get it. They are a little pricey, but they're worth it. They clean your house for you, man. What's not to love? Put this on your Christmas wish list. Next, let's talk about my Bluetooth headphones. These were $23 and it's the best $23 I've ever spent. I love them because they make household like tasks bearable. You can pop in an audiobook and fold laundry or do dishes or just uh, uh, not have to listen to your children fight or whatever it is that you want to do. These things <laughs> make my life so easier and I don't have to carry around my phone with me. They just hook up with Bluetooth. So I think they're meant for running. Who runs? Not this girl. I use them for all the other stuff. Put them on your wish list. They're amazing. My next favorite thing is this pink toolbox. I love it. The tools inside are actually kind of kind of craptacular. They're not the best quality, but it's awesome because it has everything you will ever need for that inside stuff that you do, like opening up the back of the battery pack to change the batteries from your kids' toys that we have to do constantly, or hang pictures, or fix little things. It's so organized and it's pink. I'm telling you, I am so in love with this. Despite the fact that the tool quality is subpar, it's still an awesome thing to have and you should put it on your Christmas list. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was totally not a sponsored video. I just legit love all of these things and I wanted to give you some last minute Christmas ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. So thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So this is a disclaimer. This story may not be appropriate for small children. It is the anniversary of my engagement to Joe, so I thought that I would share our engagement story. It's not really funny as it's just something that that happened. So we used to always go to this spot. It was like our spot out on the lake. It was like a bird watching something made of wood really high up and we used to bring a blanket and a picnic and watch shooting stars. Aww. So one night in the middle of a blizzard, he decides to take us there. We've never gone in the winter. So I kind of was like, what's up, dude? It was like minus 30 freezing, crazy snowstorm and he drives out to the lake and takes me to this bird watching spot and gets down on his knee and proposes and it was all like, ah, but it was freezing. So I was like, get back in the car. We ran back to the car and on the way home, 
I was so excited, I thought I'd be spontaneous and fun, and I started doing a strip tease in the front seat of the car, just chucking all my clothes in the back seat. It's like this really small car that really didn't have a back seat, but I'm throwing all my clothes in the back seat. My hotness distracted him temporarily, and he plowed into a giant snowbank and got stuck, which is unfortunate because we're in the middle of nowhere, and also unfortunate because the oncoming cars decided to stop and help us. Except I'm naked. I'm naked. So I'm climbing over the back seat to retrieve my clothing, and everyone's just getting a mooner, a big mooner shot. And it was embarrassing. And Joe was mortified because he's real straight laced. And people were coming, and there was lights, and he was panicking because we're stuck in the snow. We crashed, and and it was all so crazy and, and it's sweet and romantic at the same time. So I thought I'd share my engagement story because it's our engagement anniversary and I'd love to hear your engagement story in the comments below. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.